Why are you both of you? Like seriously? We here every Thursday on a Thursday, 8 p.m. Super close up today, you know? Thanks. I don't like it. <laughs> Anyways, we're here. Season 4, episode 28. Missing tone. I don't know. It's sad. Scheduling conflict. But we're still here. Scheduling conflict. I don't know. Season 4, episode 28. Every Thursday on a Thursday. Tone of my voice, not to my left. Camp out to my right. We miss you, Tone. I don't know if I like this intro. No, I'm trying to, you know, because Tone's like You yourself, it. so you, you cut yourself I know. I, I just try to, like, you know, make up the tone of the he probably won the sneaker battle. He, he definitely he won last week. Yeah, <laughs> uh, all right, let's just kick it off. Get through the shoes real quick. So seven twelve, you got Stranger Things dropping off the OG pack, which is the white, the blue, and the red. You got the Cortez up first, which is the uh, red leather. Yeah, cute. Whatever. Uh, then you got the blazer in the blue. The blazer's kind of fire, actually. I'm actually not to be a dick, but I'm like not really. I just watched one episode of Stranger Things. And I'm just really not impressed. I don't know. It just doesn't have me like. It had me the first season. Enthralled. I was about to use that word. You're about to use my word. You see, he's about to use my word. I mean, I did use my word. Uh, it's my word that you stole, that you try to make it like, I don't have a good vocabulary there. I'm sorry. Who said it? Me or you? I know I was going to say it, but then I was like, maybe I shouldn't say it. Doesn't count. It. Okay. Anyway, uh, next up you got the, what is this? Stranger tailwind? Tail that actually is fire. I like it. What? That's not a tailwind. I know. I'm confused. It's like a tailwind Cortez mix. I don't know what. Doesn't it look like it? Whatever. Anyway. 120. Uh, I don't know, it, it's like a, it looks like a waffle razor is what it looks like. With no nipples on the front. The colorways are good. Next up, you got Adidas Campus, ADV, uh, Max Fish. I don't know if you guys are frequenters of LES in New York. There's a bar across street from Extra Butter, as a matter of fact. Uh, it is called Max Fish. That is the doorway where most of the people smoke with those blue and red dots. Oh, really? Yeah, that's right where the standpipe is. I know what it is, but I just didn't know. So, kind of clean? Uh, yeah, whatever. I mean. Air Max, Nike, Vapor Max, D N D M S X. No price. Those are kind of weird. Yeah, they're kind of expensive, actually. I think they're like 180 or 200 That's my picture, actually. I'm not really into those. You like the photo, though? It is a good photo. Nice <laughs> photo. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's utilita utilita uh, utilitarized. Uh, Vapor Max, new edition. Eh, it's whatever. I'm not really a big fan of it, either. Leather. Nike Air Max One sketch to sell shelf. Fire. Uh, you like it? Very fire. It's cool. I don't know if I'm like very fire. I like the colored enjoy. I like it. I like the colored one. The other one is like what labeling what each thing is. Yeah, it's like. You no, know, I need one of those because I always forget what the paneling names are. It'll help me. It's like it's kind of like having a book to study. Swoosh it. Yeah, yeah, it's cool. Whatever. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> next up, you got Nike Signal DMX or DMSXN110. Jesus Christ. Uh, women's, uh, not my photo, but I did photo these. It, it's weird. I, I don't know. Uh, okay, we know how she feels. Moving right <laughs> along, we got Nike Shocks TL Neymar Jr. Fire. The black and gold, super fire. I'm not really into this model. But really? No. I mean, you don't have to like shocks. I like shocks. Like what's going on here? This is, no, I don't like it. Looks very nice. It looks very chunky and very thick. Anyway, <laughs> uh, Atmos and Nike Air Max One. We got Animal Pack 3.0, Giraffe, Leopard, and Tiger. Uh, only releasing in uh, Atmos, not here in New York. Um, I like the Leopard. I think they're doing a raffle of some sort. Or no, it's the Atmos app. On Saturday, there, and I guess there's a, there'll be a wider release here. Maybe it is releasing an Atmos here also on Saturday, but regardless, trash. The only one I kind of like is Giraffe, and it's only because I hate the other one so much, so I really don't know if I like it or not. You like the Giraffe one? This is Giraffe, yes. This one? No, no, this one. Oh, I like this one. That's Tiger. Yeah, I don't know. Cheetah's black. I thought I said I like Cheetah, but no. Leopard. Actually, the giraffe one is kind of cool. It's different. It's you know? di it's different, but it's, it looks more like cowhide than anything. It's like cow. It doesn't look like giraffe. <laughs> anyway, uh, Adidas UZ 350 Boost V2 Lundmark non-reflective Saturday. Also, family size run. Eh, whatever. Yeah. Okay. Best drop of the week last week. I like this little edition. Uh, obviously, you guys liked it too, because uh, none of the above was I selected. I none of the above. I, I didn't. 
pick the biotech. I like I'll the biotech. Be anyway, uh, yeah, I'm going to be doing that from now on. I think Throw, throwing in a, a D yeah, of none of the above, you. so like. you don't you're not forced to like something you don't want to like. We're all about democracy out here. I'm good. Uh, would you like to do arches? Ow, crack! You heard the crack? I even no. got the crack. Is it? What? Well, it took me out. Anyway, uh, okay, so this comes from Just Dave via text message, by the way, so I'm throwing Shout it out in here. Ivy Brand. Shout out the one Ivy Brand, yes. Uh, I had a question. Do you guys prefer theme collabs like Stranger Things and Nike, uh, Stranger Things and Nike and Adidas and Game of Thrones collabs, or do you think boutiques have a better handle on creating strong theme releases like Sneaker Politics and Saucony or Concepts in New Balance? I'll go with the latter part, the, the latter collabos. I'm not with Adidas and Gotco. All those collabos are trash to me. Stranger hmm. Things and Nike is okay. I mean, it doesn't excite me. It feels like they're just like, oh, we're going to use this as a reason to make a collabo shoe. It was a great question, and, by the way. It was, it was a great question. Okay. I, I agree with you 100%. I, I think that, yes, doing things on shoes like New Balance and Saucony gives the boutique more handle on what they can deliberate what goes on a shoe. Whereas you can see with Stranger Things and Nike, eh, like the build out was cool. They use all these like neon reds and all this stuff and you look at the shoe and it's basic as fuck. So it's like- Just a reason for them to make more money? Yeah, uh, I mean, so yes, the, the collabs of the boutiques definitely have a better handle on using materials. Better story too. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, but the build out for Nike and Adidas is better than boutiques sometimes. So it, it's a toss up, but when it comes to shoes specifically, I think boutiques. Anyway, uh, next up is the post from Marvelous Souls. No shade towards Marvelous Souls, but there are a lot of people in his comment section, and uh, I did hear from someone else, so I just snapshot of his. Uh, Adidas Easy Boost, this is the raffle for the reflective pair from Kit. Um, you had to drop off a pair of new or lightly worn shoes for Souls for Souls to pick up your reflective pair. Uh, I don't think that that's crazy, but a lot of people had a lot of things to say, some positive, some negative. Me, personally, I think that it's dope that they would do something like that. I think more stores should do things like that. I think we all have shoes in our closets that are lightly worn that we'd sell for 30 bucks as opposed to giving up uh, during a raffle pickup or whatever the situation may be. So it, it's definitely a good way to get rid of a shoe and do something positive. And I'm sure Ronnie donates because when you're in that tax bracket, you have to write off money and donate. Hell so yeah. You have to. So people saying like, oh, you should donate. I'm sure he does. Mm -hmm. Like, it just doesn't make any sense. But I, if it's for underprivileged people, I don't see why not. You're, buying, you're spending $220 on shoes that you probably won't even wear or going to resell for over $500. Like, is it really going to kill you to do something nice for somebody else? Yeah. I mean, and I'm like the worst, too. <laughs> what she said. Uh, I definitely agree with that. I, I just didn't get why there were so much... Back, why that's even like a question? It didn't even matter. Like you could donate like a pair of Keds that was lately worn. Yeah, like, go, go to Payless and get the a twenty dollars. You could have bought like five dollars sneakers and donated them. They didn't put a a, a, a cap on what you. I had just to bring. feel like sometimes people make a big stink. You know, they complain about everything. So, hmm. uh, moving along, <laughs> you guys caught Forbes this week. Forbes did an article on Yeezy, Kanye, whatever you want to go with on that. And then there's this giant overhead photo of like every single Adidas Yeezy that he's putting out, conceptualized, oh, or whatever. It's like an aerial shot. It was pretty dope. People said you to bring it up. Colors there. I I'm just, you know, the article said something about rivaling Jordan or to rival Jordan brand. I think he's in route. I think he's paving his own way yes. and his own lane and he's going to be his own entity and I don't think he's in competition with Jordan Brand because Jordan Brand is all from Jordan who's a basketball player and everything is different like I don't see Kanye's a rap I think he has his own lane and his own area and eventually one day he could probably take over and maybe be as big as Jordan Brand but I don't foresee that until like the next 50 years I mean I, I definitely see it happening faster than 50 years uh, if he to be level with Jordan Brand yeah why not I think that the growth and maturity of the the group that he's focusing on right now, which is the youth, like the, he had me, Jordan had me as a child. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like no, I wanted no, I that. It, I, I don't think that that's here anymore. I think what people see now and what's prevalent prevalent now is easy. So they're growing up with it. So the more it comes out, like they might do a pirate black again in five years and be like, oh shit, I missed those when I was 13. Like, yeah, I'm ready to buy them now when I'm 20. No, you, you know what I'm saying? Me too. So I'm just kind of sick of it. Like, I, you at least are. Jordan has like a hundred models to change it to. Like. V2, V2, V2. I think, I, I think he's working on it. 
The basketball shoe, though, I think is super fire, and I will cop that. Anyway, thoughts on Yeezy, if you guys want to hit the comment section. Next up, we got Kith and Aces make return uh, in time for the 30th anniversary for the Gel Light 3. So if you guys caught the photos, I think it's next week or the week after that these uh, Gel Mys come out from uh, I Ronnie Feig and Kith. I, I don't know if you guys are fans of the gel, the gel, uh, this is not a gel mine. This is a uh, gel Kayano. Yeah, I definitely have like three pairs of those. Gel Kayano 5 OG. Uh, I'm not like, oh my God, it's super fire. It's nice. And I want it. But it's not like, you think it's like amazing? It doesn't scream the guy's name that's on the side of the shoe. I will say that. Yeah, that's true. I mean, if, if you guys have been following the track record, and I, I, me personally, I think ASICs really put Ronnie on the map. So right. when I see him doing an ASIC, I kind of expect a lot more than maybe uh, Packers. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, the, the, it's just certain levels to the shit. So when I see it, like, the colorway is clean. It's dope. I like the light blue. I like the yellow. I like the contrast. But it's also simple. So it's kind of like... Mm, but that's what he's been going in the area lately. I, I go Nothing wrong with doing but as a designer, I'm not saying that I'm a designer, like when you do a certain amount of things like over and over again, like I love to do bright colors and stuff, but eventually you can kind of be like, well, I want to show that I can do other things as well and do something less. I feel like he shows that all the time though. Like he definitely shows that all the time. That when did can... that Saucony drop? No, that was two weeks ago. Damn, I missed it. I yeah, need the so that. The was clean, reflective white. You dropped the kit? No, I dropped the concept. You got it? No. Why not? I mean, it wasn't in my wheelhouse of things I wanted to buy. Damn, son. Message, by the way. You know what I'm saying? That's a message right there. Uh, yeah, so like... <laughs> I think Awake shits on this. Well, I'm more... Of this, this is more of my wheelhouse of colors, though. Like, I like these colors. Awake is like... You love green. You love... You know, 3M is a for, win for everybody. But I, I like this colorway. I do like it. For, uh, the co the colorway looks for the awesome. model of, that he's doing, it's kind of one of the best ones I've seen. I, I'm not gonna lie to you. Like I look at this and then I look at Awake and it's the same exact model minus 360 outsole. Like uh, they did a lot more, even though it was one color. It was but two. They're colors. also new to the game. Uh, Ronnie's like old man. I guess whatever. Where anyway, has he been? Uh, he's been uh, on sabbatical. Uh, Kai official. Let's go to this one real quick. You want to read it or? Melt my butter. Loving the camp out energy today. Did you guys and gal see Adidas Twitter account was hacked after the new Arsenal football jersey launch? The official account sent our racist anti-Semitic tweets. Are trolls hackers trying to make sneaker racial tension a thing now? Calf official Insta. P.S. I'm coming... I'm commenting on my personal account. Calf Don. LOL. Sorry. Usually in the comment section, so shout out. Shout out. Um, people are trying to make some, a thing out of everything. So That's really all it comes down to. And also, underneath that is written that Virgil's Instagram got hacked last night also. Oh, really? It was two nights ago. And uh, it was like hype underscore 13 times beast. Like follow and you get like a... Yeah, even they were going to leak a new shoe he was putting out. And then they started putting up uh, things like purchased um, the SB. Purchased the SB for like 2K or 5K via uh, Apple Pay. It was wild shit, but like, I feel like it's just one of those things to like claim notoriety. I'm sure somebody has that account. Whoever has that account is obviously the person that hacked Virgil's account and will sell it with as many real followers as possible. And that'll be that. Like, it's just, it's a hustle. Like, it is what it is, you know what I'm saying? Shit happens, what are you gonna do? Chester Cogsworth, melt my butter. On a normal trip to pick up regular kicks, I noticed a young kid whose parents picking up a pair for him. And the joy on his face helped me remember what this is really about. Got me thinking, what advice would you give to the young enthusiasts besides watch the breakdown, of course? I'm particularly curious what advice KB would give to the young females who are cultivating their style. I feel like they face different circumstances but have the same passions. Young and next generation. Got the hashtag. Also, show less. Show less. <laughs> got you, Tone. Anyways. I got you, Tone. Um, I honestly, my advice is to always be true to yourself and don't let likes and follows and that stuff lead you in a direction of being something you're not as like as to say like posting sexy pics with sneakers just to get people to follow you like to me that's not a real passion for it like my passion started when I was like six years old and like I just progressively got worse through the years and it was <laughs> When you're going to grow out of it type deal. But um, 
I just always try, like, you know, I like to post sexy pictures, of course, like the silhouette of my body, but I don't necessarily put myself out there in that manner, like, to, like, sexualize my sneaker collection. Mm. Like, I, of course, like, I'm going to be, I'm true to myself. Like, sometimes you'll see sexy pictures, and then sometimes you'll just see sneaker pictures. Like, but, like, I like the fact that, honestly, I'm always true to myself, like, 100%. And the people that know me, like this guy, can vouch that I really am just the way I am. Guys post pictures like that, too. They just call them, like, snap. I look like a snack in this photo. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, it's a perspective, but you get looked at worse because you're a female, female. and yeah. people see it a certain way. Like, some dudes will get too far into who you if are. If you want to be that, or if you are that, I respect that. But I don't want to be in that category. Like, I want to be respected as somebody who designs and knows and is OG. I don't want to be looked at as, like, look at this girl who posted her ass and her sneakers to get people to follow her, and now she's somebody in the sneaker industry. Like, no. That's not how I want it to be. I mean, I, I, I would say stay away from the instant gratification or don't use that as, like, a crutch. Um, don't perceive someone who gets 10,000 likes to be you the next day. Why would you it's like not for the hype? It's not going to happen. Like, what's going to happen is you have to build your own following. If your following happens quickly, cool, that's fine. But if it doesn't, don't get nervous. Like, just stay true to what your passion is or what you're passionate about. And if you have to do something different from someone else to build you or what you want to do, then do that. That's fine. It was fine. never about social media for us, though. Like, we started before social media existed. Look, you cut me off. I thought you were done. You no, got you quiet. double dutch your ass right back in here. <laughs> well, because you cut me off to talk. <laughs> Anyways. How, uh, I just think that... What? <laughs> yeah. I forgot what I was going to say now. Uh, Instagram when you were oh like I don't if Instagram goes away like I'll still be buying shoes I'll still be putting fits together I'll still be doing all that because if you find me on Facebook and you go back to 08 you'll see (laughs) is 08 when Facebook was it I I, I remember MySpace 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 I don't know the password though I definitely have a MySpace Afternoon delight, you're. Uh, oh my god that's how conceited he was (laughs) and it was like a picture of him with like no clothes on had a shirt on no. Oh, no, I didn't. Uh, anyway. Shout out to everyone hating on me in the comments. Appreciate you, baby. Shout out to the hate. Uh, there was one more thing in there, too. What's up next for me? You can hate even harder. Uh, one more for uh, Lace Face last week. Uh, mm-hmm. The appreciation for addressing his comment last week. Listen, th- this is, like, fun. This is enjoyable. We don't so, do like, this for anything. <laughs> whether it's negative or positive in the comment section, like, I'm, I'll talk about it. I don't give a fuck. I, I get a saying? little upset sometimes because it's always me. Like, it always, like it's always me. Like, somebody else could say dumb shit. And it's just always me that gets it. You're done? No, I'm not done. <laughs> now I'm done. Okay. So it doesn't matter what it is. Like, I'll, unless it's like some really dumb shit, like, I won't say anything. But, like, for the most part, if there's some thought process behind there, I'm down to, like, delve into this shit. Let's fucking do it. So, appreciate you. Whatever. And uh, we'll move along to the. Why? Uh, I think we're up to the sneaker battle at this point. So, uh, tone one with. Uh, do I have to take my shoe off? A staggering. <laughs> A staggering uh, 59%. I'm going to have to start putting the shoe back in the sneaker battle because I forgot what you wore last week. I forgot what I wore last week, so... Yeah. These are all scuffed up, bro. I don't want to take this one off. I mean, you're going to speed this shit up? So I'm going to take the other one. I mean, the short... The short... The short... It, the show is short already. I mean, we could make it under half an hour if you hurry up, though. I mean, but people like to watch a half an hour show. Damn, son. All right. Your girl's here with a... Mad low. Mad low shot today. Oh. Uh-huh. A girl, a woman's Jordan, you heard? North Carolina joint. Later. Later, hater. I'm probably going to have to drop the green screen out because uh, I'm wearing... Oh, no. I can't even see my own shoe. I can't even see my own shoe. These are uh, Prestos that I dyed. Yes, there's no footbed in there. They are fire. Chillin', chillin'. They look a little tight on you, though. Chillin'. Tight. Yeah, I shrunk them when I dyed them. Ridiculous. Chillin'. Uh, anyway, uh, this week's hashtag is... On the phone with Tone. What, what do you want the hashtag to be? Toneless. That's good. Show less. Toneless. toneless. <laughs> Whatever. Toneless. Uh, hashtag toneless for your comment <laughs> section. If you want to shout out like these people got from last week using Melt My Butter. Shout out Kristen Gaines in the comment section. Uh, drop in Jim C215, Brandon R.R. R. Martin, Chester Cogsworth, Dr. Souls, Ralph Toribio, chilling. Uh, KMJ2318, Saint God Soul, back in the comment section. Also, I'm Gucci, Sean Kitling, Big E, shout out Big E as well. Oh, Joseph Gomez, Cap Official, Cap Don, I got you. 
Oh, Black Thunder, Tones, Giblets, Alvi 2, shout out Tones, Giblets, Alvi 2, Hater Extraordinaire, Gabe O, Impalpable State, uh, Granados, K22 Shit, Showing Up 808, Raph Buddy, and Walker Jacob 89. Uh, hit that comment section. Uh, a lot more, a lot more hashtags this week. I'm not gonna lie. So shout out to everybody in the, in the hashtag comment as well. Catch you guys later. Yeah. Peace. She's already on her phone. She don't give a shit. <laughs>